Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode one of Unmess My Nest. I'm so excited for this series because you guys are finally seeing a whole different side of me. I've loved design, home decor, all those things for so long. And I'm so excited to show you guys a little bit of my style. So welcome to episode one. Today we are going into my master bedroom and designing everything from top to bottom. Before we get started in today's video, I wanna make sure you subscribed. Did you like this video? Did you comment down below? Do you have my notifications on? It really helps out a lot and we're growing so much on this channel. I'm so proud and I'm so excited to have you guys here. So episode one launches today. It is 11 a.m. PST here in California, and you can expect an episode every other Sunday. Just because I'm still working on the house, editing takes a long time. But first, let's get into the mood board. So the way I like to design a room, I like to see the space, and I like to take all my inspiration from different parts of the internet and put it on something called a mood board. So it's basically like pieces that I've seen places, things I've ordered online already, or just the way I want my room to look. So for this room, which is the master bedroom, I was really going for a vintage, super eclectic kind of style. I found this dream bed, which is so gorgeous from Anthropology, and that was my one big splurge piece. I'm super obsessed with it. It has beautiful rattan headboard, it has pink velvet on the sides, and the bed is just such a comfortable and important space in your room. And that's what I did here. I want to start in the master bedroom, and then we'll work through the rest of the house over the next few months. All right, so mood board. We have the bed. We have all these beautiful neutrals. We have this cream kind of jute rug, these brick linens. The floors in the room are brick, so I wanted to incorporate incorporate that in a lot of pieces like the bedding, pillows, and other little accessories around the room. This palette is really neutral. I think it's really welcoming. It gives you that vintage feel without being too like antique-y. I want to do a mix of like vintage, eclectic, antique, but also new pieces. The lamps, I'm going for like a green, earthy tone. I don't know if I can get these exact lamps. I'm gonna probably find something similar, but that, this is the kind of vibe we're going for. A lot of plants, a lot of greenery. I just wanted to feel welcome and cozy and trendy and soft, but also you guys understand what I'm saying. All right, so that's enough talking out of me. Let's go take a look at the room. As you guys can see, the room is super bright. I have this beautiful gray paint on the walls, which I'm obsessed with. I wanted to add a lot of color. A lot of the accessories in the room are vintage pieces that I got either at thrift stores, antiquing across the country, or um, things on Etsy, because I did want to help and support smaller businesses online. Everything in the room will be linked down below, so you can shop my entire room if you want to get the pieces. And if there's something that I got at an antique store, I will link something that is super similar, just so you guys can get your inspiration going and get your creativity and your creative juices flowing. Okay, next up is the vlog portion. So I wanted to incorporate in my video this more sit down style with vlogging just because I feel like it feels more real. I don't really like videos that are completely produced. I think it's a little too much. You guys can do this 100%. You guys are capable. Take the inspiration from me and trust in yourself. The rug just came and the bed is getting delivered right now. So I'm gonna lay the rug down and then we're gonna assemble the bed. Okay, you guys, so the rug is here. It is this beautiful woven natural fiber rug. Everything will be linked down below. My friend's cat was over and I think that it pulled on these through the bag. So I'm gonna have to cut these little fibers down a little bit, but it's really pretty. I usually don't go for a natural fiber, but I just thought it was really simple. It's gonna tie in with the rattan bed and the beautiful white wood, and it's big. I just um, centered it up with this window. So yeah, now we're gonna pop the bed in. Okay, so this is the bed unpackaged. As you guys can see, I didn't wanna get a headboard that was 100% wood. I wanted to get something with this texture that you could see through that still lets all that beautiful light in, because otherwise it would just look too heavy. It doesn't fit on that wall with nightstands, but on this wall, it's perfect because I'm not really gonna use that door to my patio. It's a super vintage, old school style. Rounded, beautiful, beautiful wood. This is rounded with pink velvet accents and gold accents on the leg. It's really, really soft. I thought it would look a little too girly, but I think with the right bedding, it'll look really, really nice and bright in here. 
Ooh, I'm out of breath. Anyways, uh, this bed was, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it was stupidly expensive. I've had this pinned on my Pinterest for so long. It's from Anthropology. I love Anthropology, but their stuff is crazy overpriced, but I just could not find this bed anywhere else. And everywhere else was either super, super cheap or even more expensive. So I saved up for this and I got it. It's beautiful and I'm gonna have this bed for a long time. So I'm gonna put her together. The advice I can give you about your bedroom, that's the place to splurge, that in your living room. Cause on your living room, you spend so much time on your couch and in bed, like I really, Really love to have beautiful fabrics, super comfortable, a great mattress. You spend so much time there recharging. So if you're gonna spend your money anywhere, skip the coffee for a couple months, skip going out to eat, skip buying new clothes and invest it in your bedroom. Cause I promise that's when you'll see the most payback. All right, let's put this bitch together. Okay, that was a massive pain in the ass, but she's up. This bitch is big. This is a California King, but I'm still waiting on the mattress. It's not arrived yet, but she's really pretty. I love the pink. You honestly can't even tell that it's that pink. It looks more like a peachy. And I think with the right bedding, it's gonna look perfect. All right, now that the bed is done, I'm gonna start putting in some of the key furniture pieces, which are the credenza, the mirror, the ladder, the chair, and hopefully the mattress. They're late, they're supposed to be here. So I'll see you guys in a second. This is the credenza I picked, as you guys saw on the mood board. It is from Urban Outfitters. It's a six drawer credenza, old dresser or whatever. Um, I just like it because it's really light doesn't look too heavy. I love the wood. It matches the bed, but not quite perfectly. But I'm gonna use this for underwear, socks, gym clothes, t-shirts, just like stuff that I'm gonna kind of grab and go instead of just going into my closet. And I still need to remodel that closet. So this girl is perfect. These are the nightstands I got for now. These are from Target by Opal House Rattan Accent Table. These were $79.99, but I actually got these for $39.99 because they were the last two in the store. It's like end of summer, so they're on sale. I got two of those. I don't know if they'll work because the bed is gonna come up to here. I'm not sure, but for now, I think they're pretty damn cute. Yay, so my Helix mattress is in, finally. It just came in this box, rolled up. I just unrolled it and I let it, basically it needs to like expand and breathe for a couple hours. So she is all in my bed. This is the one that I got. It's the Helix Midnight Luxe. It is so comfortable. All right, I think it's time for a little break on my new gorgeous Helix mattress. First of all, thank you so much Helix for sponsoring today's video. I am sleeping in gorgeous luxury. I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about Helix. So a bed is so important. We spend so much time in our bed. We recharge in our bed. We re-energize. We hang out. We watch movies. We eat. I spend so much of my time in bed. So it's really important for me to have A, an amazing foundation, which is your bed, and B, amazing sheets and pillows. Those are two things I do not cheap out on. Anyways, so I love Helix so much because they created a quiz online. If you sleep alone, you can take it by yourself. If you have a partner, you can take it with your partner, but it sets you up with the perfect mattress. For me, it was the Midnight Luxe mattress. I'm a side sleeper, but I also sleep on my back sometimes. I sleep on my stomach sometimes. Sometimes I sleep on my side. I'm all over the place, but I like a little firmness with a little bit of soft. And that's exactly what I got here. Like I can roll, I can jump, I can be thrown around if I want to. But it's really, really comfortable. And in comparison to my last mattress, which was all foam, I just sunk to the bottom, which is not the T. But you can check whatever you want. You can go online, take the quiz, check off all your boxes, whatever you want, it's super easy, and it sets you up with your perfect mattress. It was so easy shopping with Helix. You just buy it online, it shows up in a few days, free shipping, by the way, to your home in a box. You guys saw, just unroll it, let it breathe for a couple hours, and here we are now, looking stunning. If you guys are for some reason weirded out by buying mattress online. I don't know why you would because we literally can't go anywhere to buy anything anyways. Helix has an amazing 100 night sleep trial. So you literally have three months to decide if you like the bed. And if for some reason you don't like the mattress, they will pick it up for you and give you a full refund, which is pretty iconic if you ask me. Pretty legendary if you ask me. If you guys are on the market for a new bed and want to check out Helix, you can go to www.helixsleep.com slash Daniel. And they're giving you up to $200 off a new mattress and two free pillows, which is amazing. I love it. It's for real, jump on it. All right, thank you Helix again so much for sponsoring this video. I honestly wanna curl up and take another nap right now. Well, I can't do that, can I? Hmm, all right, back to the video. All right, so as you guys saw in the mood board, I do wanna make this entire house, especially the bedroom, just a really beautiful greenhouse. Lots of greenery, lots of plants. So I'm gonna show you guys the plants that I'm putting in this room. Super beginner, planter, planty friendly. I'm choosing variations that don't 
don't need a ton of water. You can get away with watering them once a week. Hopefully in the future, I'll be traveling a lot. That's gonna be great in case I have friends stay over or my place is just empty for a little bit. I won't have to freak out about like watering the plants every single day. Okay, so first, you guys, stop bothering me. Hot breath. You haven't eaten in three days because you're so picky. Okay, so here is the bed, obviously. So as you see on this side, on the outside I have this beautiful hanging plant. So I kind of want to balance that out by putting a hanging fern right here. I am going to get some more potted plants. So when you look out, you just see flowers. I think I want to put another hanging pothos there. And I do have this area up here. It's like a vaulted kind of moment. I can put storage up there, but I want to do something in the future. So for now, I think I'm just going to put potted pothos just like dripping down on areas that make sense. As you can see, I put some candles up here just to see what it would look like for now. I'm not so sure about that. And the piece de resistance is the fireplace. I am obsessed with this. It's going to be a focal point for the room, but I just have this vision of there being a ton of beautiful plants hanging from this little area from here, maybe from the middle. I just want it to look really lavish and beautiful with greenery and candles. Yeah, I'm thinking put some there too. And then here looking out to the patio, you already see a lot of greenery. So I think I'm going to put a bench here so Storm can like sit and watch, put a potted plant here, some sort of palm maybe. And then here I installed this little hanger. It came with a matching like vessel that you can plant something. So I'm thinking something drippy there too. So here is one of the more common pothos. These are beautiful. They will drape anywhere. They need a good amount of light, but nothing direct. They don't like any harsh light. So filtered light is best. This is just a succulent. I believe these are called pearl succulents. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I just potted it in this old repurposed Velespa candle. It doesn't need much, but it is very fragile. Here is a little air plant. I'm sure it has a more serious name, but these guys, you just basically spritz them with water once a week or so. They feel a little dry, but they just bring in a lot of texture and they're really easy to take care of. The root system is there on the bottom. So you can like put them in a sink for a few minutes and take them out and dry them and then put them back on the shelf. Another pothos. And since I'm going for a more like vintage eclectic feel, I found this Hills Brothers little coffee jar at an antique shop for like two bucks. So I got this and I potted it here. And here is a monster mama pothos. She's already really big and voluptuous and stunning. She has this really pretty veining of like lime green and forest green. And I chose this vessel. I got, I think I got this at TJ Maxx. Yeah, $16.99. I love this color. It's so pretty. It's like a mustard. And I just wanted to go with like a bold color and like this vintage kind of style. Okay, so I'm gonna design this fireplace now. I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. Here we go. Okay, that was actually really easy. Minimal, I'm saving this kind of area for either a piece of art. I did get this really cool eye mirror that you guys saw on the mood board earlier that I might put that right there. I did decide to keep the pearl succulent out of there just because I was really vibing with the whole darker green. <laughs> This little hanging pothos is gorgeous. I love how different the coloring is in this one. This one has more of like a white slash cream veining. The vessel I got from Wayfair and it's so cute. And if you guys want to see any of the products or want to purchase any of them, everything will be linked down below. Don't worry about that. fern is literally perfect. I love a good fern because they don't need a ton of water. You do want to keep them moist, but they retain their water really, really well. This is a beautiful basket I got at a local store. Store, But uh, you can find these at TJ Maxx for super cheap or on Amazon. They're just like a hanging woven bamboo basket. The juxtaposition of the one outside, I don't know if you guys can see right there. And this one is just very, it's perfect. Also, ferns don't like a lot of direct light like this, especially this is really harsh morning light. So I have these window treatments that I got that will just go down up to here and that's perfect. That solves that. Speaking of window treatments, I actually went with these super simple ones I got online. They're just very minimal blackout shades. They were actually really, really affordable and they're really, really pretty. I just like how minimal they are. And I even got one on this little Dutch door that just pulls down like this. All right, we are about to put our lives in danger here. So putting a pot 
pop those up here. I am gonna have to watch it just to make sure that it does get enough light and enough water, but it'll be really, really pretty once it starts trailing down. Sometimes it has these little dead leaves that don't look so pretty. You could just trim them right off. I actually took the one off the fireplace and put it up there and it looks perfect. Nobody puts baby in the corner, but I just did. So the palm tree gets a corner treatment. I love that. I think it anchors the room. It's perfect. So a little bit about this palm tree. This is an indoor palm tree. You'd never want to put this outside in the harsh sun, especially in California, or else it'll burn and look really ugly. These normally price range anywhere from like $50 to $150, depending on size. But this guy I got downtown at the farmer's market for, I think it was $35. And it's really full. It's really pretty, very healthy. And you can just leave it in the pot and put it in a little thing with a saucer underneath it. Easy, not a lot of maintenance. You can fertilize it every so often. Just make sure it gets enough water and you should be good. All right, like any other millennial gay man, I went a little overboard with the plants, but that's the vibe I'm going for. And I know how to raise them. I've been planting since I was like six years old. So hello, if you can't keep up, learn to. Anyways, plants done, over, canceled. Next, we are going with furniture. So I have a bench that's going under the window. I have my nightstands and I have, I think that's it for furniture. And then we can move on to artwork. Okay, so for my nightstand on my side of the bed, I went with this beautiful piece from Urban Outfitters. Yes, Urban Outfitters has furniture. So I wanted to kind of blend in the rattan from there to the rattan on the headboard, but I didn't want to do too matchy-matchy. So this one has a drawer. It's a bit lighter in color, has the four legs. It's really pretty, really minimal. Window can open and then this can go all the way back. And then on the other side, I went with this little stool. This is from Serena and Lily. It was a bit pricey. You can find these at Home Goods. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, anywhere really. They're just pretty much a basic bamboo stool. I don't really like matching my nightstand and that's why I went with something a little more simplistic on that side and on my side, it has the drawer. Also, anybody who's sleeping over doesn't get to have a drawer. They don't have that luxury here. Put your phone there and leave in the morning, period. And the lamp, oh my gosh, you guys. So this is the kind of vibe I was going for, a very like 60s, 70s style. The one in the mood board that I showed you guys earlier was really expensive, so I found this guy glass stained a beautiful like olive green and it has this really nice switch here let's check out the light beauty it has that beautiful warm inviting light the shade i actually got from amazon i remember having these shades as a kid and they were really tacky back then and then they came back in style i think they're called pleated shades but i think they're so pretty and it goes with the vibe of the room perfectly meanwhile that glow from the light though cool warm cool Warm, this is like that scene from The Parent Shop. Here's that beautiful bench. I found this at Marshall's forever ago. I am obsessed. I think this is called mango wood. I just love all the detail. But when Moon was a puppy actually, cause this is from my last place, he chewed the leg of this. So I had to sand it down. I didn't stain it just cause it's staying like hidden. So honestly, it looks fine. Builds character. This is gonna be Storm's little perch. Maybe put some pillows on that side, a little blanket drenched down. I cannot wait to accessorize. And no bedroom is complete without a useless foot of the bed bench. This is extremely uncomfortable, but I thought it was really cute. I got it at Home Goods for $29.99. Again, Moon or Storm, somebody left their mark right there. So I probably am gonna put a nice little faux sheepskin over this with some pillows. I think it'll really pull the bed together. I'm never gonna sit on it, never gonna use it, but it's cute. Okay, so let's talk about art. I am not an art connoisseur. I'm good at picking things out, but the cool thing about art and bedding is that you can always switch things out. If you don't like a piece, you can pull it out six months, put a new picture in there, get a new mirror, whatever. So I like to start really simple. I did get some vintage prints of of some of my favorite movies. I got those framed on Etsy. I'm trying to support more local small businesses during this time, so that's why I'm doing a lot of shopping on Etsy. I also am adding a mirror right on top of that credenza and then another piece of art that I got at Target, which is not a small business, but it was really cute. You should always go for what you are called to or what like feels right to you, or if you see something first in a store, go for that. I think that energy is really important. But also I, wanted, I do wanna support some of my friends and I'm gonna ask a few of them to make some custom pieces. So make sure to stay tuned because at the end of this entire like nine or 10 episode series, I am doing a full house tour. So there are gonna be a lot of changes when I do the walkthrough for that. Who knows, maybe this house will look completely different in a month or two.
Okay, so first piece is this beautiful little cactus palm springs kind of moment. I could have taken this picture by myself. I think I have taken this picture, but it was cute and it was on sale. And the other mirror is from Arhas. It's this really pretty driftwood miniature mirror. It just reflects all the light. I love the nature vibe in here. One of my favorite movies, I had to have this on a wall. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes in Technicolor, Jane Russell, Marilyn Monroe. Look how gorgeous they were. Also, if you look up close, their faces kind of look the same. I feel like they may have done that in production. So beautiful. I am not a gentleman who prefers blondes. I prefer a brunette, but whatever floats your boat. And then the other piece that I found online is this little cute saying, the darkest nights produced the brightest stars. And I know it may be a little cliche, but I am going through some dark nights. I can't wait to shine bright. And the plant's right underneath it. All right, here's a little sneak peek at the bedding. So I chose a color. This is like a terracotta. It's really, really pretty. It's, it is showing a little cooler on camera. It's also nearing fall, so I think it's a perfect color. This beautiful, like, dark chartreuse green for a throw. A lot of creams. As you can see, there's a lot of texture going on here. Um, it also pulls from the brick flooring. Especially at Target, they have a lot of affordable bedding. That's great quality. So if you have any questions on bedding, please just comment down below. So for my bed, I am using linen. I always have a seasonal color of sheets and a white set. White is amazing because you can always bleach the stains out. It always looks fresh. It always looks expensive. You can never go wrong with white. I know I'm going with like this terracotta color, but it just works so well with the floors. Also, mattress protector, always. I got this off Amazon, like 25 bucks. This will protect you from spills. So it's super soft on this side. And on this side, it has a coating, this plastic. So in case you drop any water or if you pee your sheets, yeah, it won't ruin the mattress. I'm a lunatic with pillows. Just cause now that I'm single and alone, I like to be cradled by pillows since I don't have a man next to me. But no, I just love pillows. It's almost like an intimate thing finding pillows because sometimes you just don't like them. Sometimes they're too hot, they're too smushy, they're too puffy, they're too stiff. So it takes a while, but thankfully I found some great pillows. If you guys are short on storage, I highly suggest baskets. Like, I don't have a ton of storage in here. Handwoven rattan. This is from Target. How much was this guy? This was $34.99. So it was a little pricier, but you can find cheaper ones, honestly, anywhere else. This one was just really aesthetically pleasing to me. And I liked how deep it was because I'm going to use this as a laundry hamper and I'm going to put it right next to my door, chuck my gym clothes in there, and good to go. And then on the other side of the bed, I'm going to use this one for throw pillows. It's a little shorter, a little wider. This guy was same price, $34.99. It's just like a nice way to accessorize and still be stylish. Okay, without giving away all my styling tips. I just want to show you guys a few of my favorite pieces in the room that really will take your space from zero to 100, bad to bougie, to make it really feel expensive and well decorated and well designed. Okay, so first piece is something that I hope one day I can have a home line because I would love to design a bunch of pieces that are just like curated after my own eye and trays are one of them. I love a good tray, even if it ends up being useless. This one is this beautiful bamboo for the 80th time, Rata. It's beautiful. I like that it has the edges so you can put things and they won't kind of fall over or off. You can pop this on a bed. You can put it on a chair. You can put it on a table and it will instantly make anything look more expensive. Put some magazines on there, a book with a crystal, and you can just put cash on there and it will look gorgeous. My next favorite thing to have, I usually have this on my bedside table or on a little table in the room or on the credenza. It is a decanter. So a decanter is just a rich way of saying, do you want some water by your bedside when you're sleeping over? I usually get one to two cups with it. If you're really bougie, you can put one on either side, but it's just nice to serve water like this for your guests. Hydration is very important. It's really pretty. I got it on a store called Vera Shop online and it really wasn't that expensive. But again, anything that I have, you can get elsewhere at whatever price range you want to. I'm not like hawking anything crazy expensive at you guys. Minus this bed, which was an investment. But we got her on Afterpay, didn't we now? Yes, we did. Okay, back on my tray obsession is this. It's a mirrored tray. This can actually be hung on a wall, hook right here, for it to be like a little actual mirror. But I like it as a mirrored tray. I think these are super, super classic classy and elegant. You can display your fragrances on it and it'll look really expensive. You can put flowers on it and you'll have the reflection of the flowers from the mirror. My final favorite decor piece is a candlestick candle. A lot of people are afraid of these. I'm personally afraid of them. I probably will never light them unless I'm having a little intimate moment at home because I think that is extremely romantic, but they come in a variety of shape, sizes, colors. I got these and the vintage candlesticks, which was $10. It's beautiful. It's brass. It brings a lot of like warmth to the room. I got these at 
a store called Honey Home in Montana. They're a beautiful secondhand vintage store. They go all around the United States and collect antiques and they resell them and refurbish them and everything. Why not burn them? We only live once. Burn down your house. That's my sense of humor. I'm not actually telling you to burn down your house. Please do not burn down your house. Okay, can I get a drum roll please? Who's ready for the final room reveal? Here we go. All right, well that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed episode one of Unmess My Nest. Please, please, please give this video a lot of extra love. Please like this video, leave a comment down below, let me know how I'm doing. I'm open to critiques. This was so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this and I cannot wait to design the rest of the house, the outdoor spaces, we have the living room, the kitchen. This is a whole new adventure and I'm so excited you guys are here along the way with me. Thank you so much. I still don't have an outro, so yes, this is the outro. I love you so much, bye. Storm, go under the bed, go. And that's why we left eight inches under the bed so he could get under there. He loves it. <laughs>